it will not work if you go with the IP address. And now open your browser of choice, go to click.example port 32443, and accepting the warning that it's uh, not a public certificate, we are on Yoohoo, that's the login page. And you can choose any of those users. Password is always password one, exclamation mark, and harley.click.example in this case. The first user to log in will be the tenant admin. And um, it just claims that your license isn't valid. It's because we haven't set one. So let's go to slash console. And there is a little bug here. When you go there, it, it removes the port. So you have to actually type colon free to four for free again in the browser URL, and then you will be good. And you will be taken to that page where you paste in your JWT token that you got from your click representative. And then you are set. Now, um, this is the new management console. Here you have licenses and in users, uh, that's the first and so far only user who has logged in, no spaces have been set up and so on and so on. So let's go to the new hub. The new hub is empty. And uh, if I go to explore here, I would like to create an app, but I can't because let's see what my license type is that I've got. Probably it's analyzer not professional. So go to licenses assigned user. Yeah, I've been assigned an analyzer user. So um, you can assign a professional access from here. Actually, here is also a setting that automatically assigns uh, professional users for the next logins of other users. I want that, yes. And if I go back to explore where I've just been before, I do have now the create button and I can start creating an app. Let's do that. Let's call it a demo app. So I show you this, I stare this. So it's now a favorite app, my first and favorite one. And let's go to the script editor for now and create a new um, data connection and see that all data connections are available, almost the same amount of uh, connections that we had on Windows. And for uh, this purpose here, we will pick REST. And let's pick one of the files that I also put into that GitHub. It's called northwind.json. So if you click on it and uh, click on raw, you will get a URL like this on the top. And we will just load this sample data here which is some nice orders, order details from a Northwind database. So select these two data objects from the JSON and load the data. It's all as you would expect. Right, let's go to analysis. Also the insights dashboard is there. Um, I'm lazy now, so I let click decide, uh, make some chart suggestions for me. And let's just take some of them and put them on the screen. The full experience is there as you would expect. So here's my page. Right. Um, so one thing actually, when you want to log out, there's a little bug with the built-in users. That wouldn't be the case when you use a identity provider. Although it says okay here, it fails to clear out the cookies. So you can go back to any page and you would still be the old user. So to fix that, open the application part of your developer tools, look for cookies and clear them. By doing so, actually, and then refresh the page, you will be redirected back to the sign-in, and now you can uh, go in as somebody else, like sim at click.example. So as sim enters now the portal, he doesn't see any content since nothing has been shared with him and so on. So with that, actually, that was ClickSense on Kubernetes. In this particular case, we set it up on Minikube on a Windows PC, 
and i uh, hope you liked it if you do so please subscribe to my channel there will be more coming and see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>